the international news uh, production program here at High School of Economics uh, is uh, achieving its goal. It's giving uh, students the basic results uh, in news production. And when I see students, I, I'm really proud of the fact that their eyes are shining. Uh, they're enjoying the process on the one hand, and they're trying to improve their skills in English, and they are doing their best to master the basics of uh, the media in a wide sense of the word. Uh, they have studied the history of the media. They have mastered the economics of the media, I mean the basic foundations. And also they managed to apply uh, their practical skills, uh, like writing, visualizing the subject, uh, and all of this, uh, news planning, uh, during the practical seminars. So that's the management of a program. The program likes the students and the students like the program. To my mind, I would be really happy if they master the basic skills of international storytelling, be it in writing, be it in film, be it in short videos. Uh, also, uh, some of them are enjoying to learn the uh, what, what they call new media, just how to uh, grasp the basic skills of storytelling in the new media environment. And I hope that we'll get the best storytellers That's our, uh, that will be really great in the modern international news environment. When I think about pieces of advice that uh, I would like to give our students or future students, uh, and I hope that the program would be interesting for uh, many young people, not just in Russia, but in other countries as well, is is uh, that you'll have to love the news, love what you do, and uh, you have to enjoy the process in writing, uh, in visualizing the subject. So this is uh, the key thing that you need to love uh, the news, the flow of information. And uh, the basic thing is the storytelling. You need to be a good storyteller. And if you like to tell stories, international stories, if your eyes are shining, I keep coming back to the concept of shining eyes, yeah? Uh, in this case, you'll be really successful in international news environments. I hope that uh, our students will be the stars of the future international newsrooms, uh, not just here in Moscow, but in other countries as well. And sometimes they don't have to choose the newsroom. Maybe they will set up their own media in one of the social platforms. Or maybe they will develop their own international news app. That sounds crazy, but it may, it may happen. Uh, they will uh, really develop something that we don't know yet. So uh, I think that uh, the possibilities are huge. Newsrooms, um, websites, apps, social networks. And it is up to them to choose what suits them most of all.